What's happening, Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for all the good and bad inside the world of Apple. Let's get to the show, and the big news of the week comes from All Things D, who reports their sources have told them, and really it's Apple who's told them, that Apple will unveil their next iPhone at a special event on September the 10th. Now, the iPhone has seen its global share drop with heavy competition from Samsung and other Android phones. So we'll see if they target the mid-range market with the rumored iPhone 5C. And what will the next-gen iPhone really have in store for us? So now that you know the date, circle it on your calendar. It's probably a good time to get your phone ready to sell on eBay, like right now. Now in iPhone news, it's believed the iPhone 5S will end up using a convex home button that's made out of sapphire to make space for the rumored fingerprint sensor, according to KGI analyst Ming-Chi Kuo. This would be a change since the home button has been concave, curving inwards in the past, but the new rumors imply that it will curve outwards or slightly bulge. <laughs> I said bulge. Sapphire is very resilient to scratches. It's also very pretty, and the thinking is it will also protect the fingerprint sensor that's embedded inside. Now, website Nowhere Else FR showed off a new part this week that they claim is the rear panel of the iPhone 5S. It shows a few internal design tweaks with different screw placement along the back of the device, but also shows a different metal spacer cushion that supports the rumored revamped home button as well. And Japanese blog Mako Takara is chiming in and is reporting that the iPhone 5S's camera will remain at 8 megapixels, but will feature a wider f2.0 aperture that captures more light while taking pictures and conflicts most reports that claim a 12 megapixel camera is coming. Now, they're also sticking with earlier claims that the iPhone 5S will be available in black, white, and a gold color option, and several photo leaks have previously shown iPhone 5S parts described as a gold or champagne color. Can you say all gold everything? Gold all in my chain. Gold all in my ring. Gold all in my watch. Don't believe me, just watch. Yeah, gold all up in my jacket. Woo! Gold all up in my turban. Woo! Bloomberg jumping in on the iPad rumor mills with a report that iPads will come in a separate keynote from the iPhone, which has happened the past two years, so there's no big surprise there. They say the same things we've talked about, a 9.7-inch iPad that's thinner and takes design cues from the iPad mini with a thinner bezel. But if for some reason we do happen to see the iPad at this year's September event with the iPhone, I would expect something big, real big in October from Apple. All right, there were a lot of leaked images, so let's get through the iPhone parts that I saw this week online. First up, you want buttons? We've got buttons. Rumored colored volume buttons for the iPhone 5C in red or blue. Now, what about the top of strip of the iPhone 5S rear shell that shows a hole big enough to support the rumored dual LED flash? You got it. And if the iPhone 5C comes in colors, let's check it out in yellow from Sonny Dixon's blog. Awesome. Okay, I'm done with that. Let's get to the quick bites. And the iCloud beta page recently got a makeover with new icons for mail, contacts, calendars, and more, and overall design cues from iOS 7 in those apps. Now, the iWork apps for iCloud are still using the previous icons. Also, Plants vs. Zombies 2 is coming out on the App Store and should be there by the time you're watching this. More zombies, more plants, but we'll see how their free-to-play model works for this version of the game and how that all works out. And in international news, the Korean government has initiated the Korean Steve Jobs Project. That's what they're calling it. And it's a project designed to foster creativity and passion into young students studying software development and not dancing to Gangnam Style. Open Gangnam Style. And it's time for an awesome giveaway from our friends at Monster. You've got to check out their latest DNA on-ear headphones. These things are stylish and they look really good on me. Sound-wise, I'd say they're really solid at moderate normal listening levels, but they can distort if you crank them all the way up. So our friends at Monster are hooking you up with two of these headsets that retail for over $200. This is no joke, so you're going to have to earn these. All you have to do is send me a video clip of you dancing to a horrible song that no one wants to hear. So I'm talking like Celine Dion, Justin Bieber, and yes, even Kesha, because You'll need earphones so no one has to listen to that garbage. All you have to do, put a link on YouTube, Instagram, Vine, and email it directly to me at theapplebyte at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong, hashtag Applebyte, 
and I'll pick the winners and feature you on next week's show. Plus, Monster has created a special promo deal. If you visit the link below, you'll get $60 off a custom skin pair of the DNA headphones. That's only for you, the Apple Biter Nation, and is good until August the 31st, and that's just some pretty sweet stuff. All right, that's gonna do it for this week's show. Keep emailing and tweeting because I don't bite, and I'll get to as many as I can. I'm Brian Tong, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next week for another bite of the apple. Gold all up in my jacket, woo! Gold all up in my turban, woo! Gold all up in my chains, woo! Gold all up in my, gold all up in my.